Oh, mom's not looking too good. So I think I can get used to this place. You know, with a little bit of fabric and paint, I think it, I think it'd be pretty nice. They're not letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the blight, just as we are. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. We're getting into the city, one way or another. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay. All right, time to get into this godforsaken city. I am so excited. You have no idea. Excuse Why me. Get back to the crowd, oh. you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a jerk. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. Ow. Dick. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her. But she's the power in Kirkwall. Oh, well, that's great. Don't know what would <laughs> happen fantastic. if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. Okay, so uh, who should I talk to then if you're not going to help me use... There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. I really just want to renegade move so I can like kick him and crotch. Who am I talking to? I can't go, can't go past. Oh, I guess I can. Um, someone, I'm supposed to talk to someone. Okay, let's see. Tell me, how did your family escape Lothering? Almost everyone who hadn't fled. My older sister. If she wasn't with us, I don't think we'd be here. The older one. But you seem quite skilled as well. He's not. I'm not my sister. That's right. He actually kind of said that with like some bitterness behind it. You don't have any like hard feelings, do you, butthead? So this is where Mother's from. Charming place. It smells like poop. All right. Uh. Whoop. Okay. So no admittance. Orders of the Viscount. Yeah, I'm not asking you. Let's go back to Perel. Can we talk to any of these people? I'm kind of hovering my mouse over them, and it doesn't. Here to be that way. Okay, How are you doing, Aveline? Wesley would have been horrified to see this. Uh, so maybe it's good he died. Uh, it's too soon as... Yeah, Aveline's not going to talk to me for a while. Hi, Mom. We need to find your uncle. With any luck, he's received my... We can only hope, Mama. Don't worry, Mama. I'll take good care of you. I love my mama. All right, here's where we... Ah, Captain Ewald. You can just Hi. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin yeah. to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. The guard told me differently? One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen? 
We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. We came here to speak to our uncle, Gamlin Amel, and we won't leave until we do. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. Uh oh. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Now this seems like a... okay. Mega. This escalated a little bit quickly. That probably was... oh my god. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. But they are weak baddies. Hey, I'm a mage and I can just go by. Why do you all look the same? Is that a little racist? I think it's a little racist. I apologize. Unbelievable. I thought you died. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? Died? Came back from the dead? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. Oh, what a guy. You might want to clean up. You might scare my weasel of an uncle. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Hmm, this must be him now. I can smell the pork on him. Leandra! Damn, girl. The years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Wow. I'm an ass. Yep, that's my uncle. It, let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband, dead. I'd uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin, we came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it, and Drastic guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. I'm more concerned about Mother. Mama. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. Use your hair. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right. Uh, about the estate. It's... um... gone. Oh. Okay. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Hmm. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. Oh. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. <sighs> Fine. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. Okay. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. 
So, you're selling us into indentured servitude? That's your idea? Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. I guess it's only a year, right? I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of man is this Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? Details, man. I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Hmm. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Your family now, Aveline. Come give me a hug. So now we have to earn our way into the city. How hard can that be? I don't know. Carver? Let's just hope our dear old uncle is as good as his word. He's probably not. All right, so let's go talk to these people. First, we got someone over here, it looks like. Mirren. Let's just, let's just eye him up before we talk to him. Oh, yeah, no, he's balding. I don't trust him. I never trust people who are balding. They can either be bald or have hair not in between, okay? You know what I mean? It's just, that's that's dangerous work. Who do we got over here? Uh, oh, she's, she's a cute little elf. Well, I think we can trust her. Elves are pretty harmless. Hello, little elf. Hello. Are you a Fenril? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. Hi. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Yes. Uh, how much exactly? Yeah, how much? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. Hey. Okay. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. Ooh. -hoo. I didn't realize Gamlin had told you that much. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Hmm. That's that's helpful. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Okay. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. Aveline, I, I think we can... I mean, it's gonna be shady work, but I, I think it's better... I think... I think it'll do. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard. But you can. Get our money from him and you're in. Sounds easy enough. Ah, no, no, I want to be me. I don't want to be Carver. Whoever would want to be a Carver? I mean, let's let's be realistic here. Not even Carver wants to be Carver. He wants to be me. Oops, that's uh, that's the wrong guy. We want this over here. Hey, don't mind me. How you doing? I'm just gonna loot your box. Don't mind that. <laughs> hey there. Subtlety. What are you doing with that? 
Back away from it, friend. Now. I, uh... Wait. This is a Thenril's doing, isn't it? You can tell that bitch I'm going straight to the guard again. Ooh. Care to step in here? Come on, Evelyn. Only because this toad deserves it. Oh, yeah, Evelyn. Ooh. You have a choice. Pay, Ooh. or I beat it out of you and your men. Hey. Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Wow, good job, Evelyn. That was that was badass. That was so badass. I dropped my drink on the ground. Hang on, let me just pick that up. A little bit of something, something special. Okay. Oh yeah, two uh, two is it sovereign? Is that what they call it? Two gold pieces. All right. That's actually pretty easy. God, Evelyn, you are so cool. I love you. God damn. It's done. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Okay. Talk to un Sir Uncle. Sir CD Uncle. Oh, hi, Captain Ewald. Can we talk to you? So, that was your uncle, was it? Good. I thought he was another confidence man trying to sell promises. I don't suppose he has the coin you'll need to get in. He had some ideas. Hmm. They always do. If it were just up to me, I'd let you through. But there are a lot of eyes watching, a lot of palms that need greasing. My suggestion? Wait for a ship and hope the next city hasn't already closed their doors. You're not very helpful, Ewald. Just gonna throw that out there, but thanks for the suggestion! Any luck? It's done. I'll speak to a Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. The blight may still spread, but for now we have a new home. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Oh, Evelyn, you got me now. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. Oh, no. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. I love you, Varric.